Voters have the chance to vote on abortion protections here in Ohio. It's an issue with two strong opposing sides that have their own concerns if it's passed or not. Kaylee Marentette is kicking off our team coverage at 6 and will be following issue 1 throughout the night. Kaylee, should we be expecting this race to come down to the wire to be close? Most likely, yes, Melissa. A poll from Baldwin Wallace University shows that 58% of voters are in favor of passing issue one. So early predictions don't show a dramatic passage or failing of this issue. But issue one would do a number of things. Besides guaranteeing access to abortion, it also has to do with as aspects of health care like fertility treatment, miscarriage treatment, and contraception. For those who are pro-choice, they want this issue passed. They believe access to abortion shouldn't be a government decision and could put women's life at risk if they can't get access to an abortion by a health care provider. Many pro-life advocates believe this amendment just goes too far, with concerns that it would allow abortions up to the ninth month of pregnancy if the mother's life is at risk and that they would that the word individual in the ballot language could mean minors when it comes to reproductive treatment. But that could come down to how each facility decides to put the rules in place. And just because the state can't prohibit it doesn't mean that the hospitals won't have their own requirements for someone who's underage to um, take advantage of certain uh, treatments and procedures. Um, each hospital will have their own procedures that, that, that they control themselves because the Constitution just governs really what the state can do to restrict your rights. We'll be following this issue one throughout the night. We'll have more coverage coming up tonight at 11 o'clock and also online at WTOL.com. We're putting live in West Toledo, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11. Kaylee, thanks. Though there were many other issues on the ballot, it seems the most important for voters is issue one. Nearly every voter we asked today said the reason they made time to get to the polls is to vote on issue one. One voter said he cannot remember seeing so many campaign ads as he did for issue one. I think especially on issue one, I think that uh was a very big issue and if you, you know, we're churchgoers and it was brought up several times in church and I think that uh, it, it's a big deal to protect to protect lives. That's what we should be doing as parents. If issue one passes, it will go into effect in 30 days. Well, another big, huge issue for the Buckeye State, of course, issue two, which is the legalization of recreational marijuana for people 21 and older. Our Michael Sandlin has been talking with people on both sides of it for the last few weeks. He joins us live from the east side. Michael, what would this mean for Ohio if this goes through tonight? Jeff, it would make Ohio the 24th state in the country to approve it for recreational use, allowing people to buy, sell, and of course smoke marijuana with 10% of every sale going to the state. And there's people on both sides of the issue debating on whether or not this is a good idea, trying to decide if it's a benefit or a burden. I spoke to someone in the CBD industry, like Kevin Spittler, owner of Toledo Hemp Center in Toledo. He says he's seen the positive effects of cannabis products for people struggling with pain, like his own mother who was struggling with cancer. And Spittler says he's looking forward to being able to offer that kind of help to a wider audience legally. But opponents to legalization, like Wood County Sheriff Mark Vosilitian, says data shows that crashes have gone up 6% on average in every state that has legalized the drug, and he doesn't want that to happen here. She had a few months to live, according to her doctor, so I started bringing stuff down and helping her with cannabis products, and my mind up sick around for a year. Um, a lot longer than doctors had anticipated, so she got all the holidays, or all our boys' birthdays one more time around. We already have crashes because of marijuana and other drugs. It increases an additional 6% when it's legalized. So that is scary to have our crashes go up 6%. Uh, we know that there'll be more people arrested for impaired driving, which will be more people in jail, more people going through the court system. Uh, it's, it's scary. A recent Baldwin University poll found that 57% of people plan on voting yes on issue two. We'll find out if that's going to come to pass in just a few hours. Reporting in East Toledo, Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.
And that was a Baldwin-Wallace University poll Michael just mentioned. Here in Northwest Ohio, there are many local issues on the ballot, school levies and school board races. Toledo Public Schools has two separate levy renewals on the ballot to cover current expenses. And Perrysburg Schools has a bond issue to raise $140 million over 36 years for construction and improvement of school facilities. Bowling Green City Schools is looking to change a trend from past elections, hoping voters will finally approve a bond issue for a new high school. Kaylee Kirby is in studio with more. And Kaylee, Bowling Green is really hoping the fifth time is the charm tonight. Yeah, they haven't had much luck. Bowling Green leaders are asking voters for money to approve a new high school this time. In the past, it's been different, specifically $72.8 million. The district has tried and failed to pass similar issues for consecutive times. Superintendent Ted Hazelman is hoping to change that history and get a new school built this election. He says the state has deemed the building beyond repair and that it won't help with funding unless voters approve a levy. Even though he took over as superintendent earlier this year, he says maintenance repairs over the last couple of years have been costly and that the age of the building makes it harder to fix any problems. We know there's going to be more in continual uh, upkeep on this facility because it continues to age uh, and you know the the money's going to continue to flow into uh, repairs that are out of our control. Well those against the levy say it's a big price tag for a new high school and like Perrysburg voters they are worried how much they would be paying per year with the tax assessment in Wood County. In studio Kaylee Kirby WTOL 11. Kaylee, thanks. The Lucas County Board of Elections is working to fix a ballot mix up. Here is what we know right now. The BOE says a data error led to some voters who live in Toledo City Council District 2 to get a ballot for issue 1. The board says it identified the issue on Friday and began going door to door, but some people already voted early or absentee. The board says District 2 is uncontested, so the ballots won't change the outcome and won't be counted. The BOE did provide a supplemental ballot for voters who are not home. Those need to be returned to the Board of Elections by 730 tonight. The Lucas County Board of Elections says it takes this matter seriously. In a statement, the BOE says it is, quote, dedicated to maintaining the integrity and transparency of the electoral process and goes on to say measures have been taken to prevent such occurrences in the future. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose is weighing in tonight on how he thinks Election Day is going. I had the chance to do a live interview with him during our 5 o'clock newscast. The Secretary of State tells me it's been a smooth Election Day across the state so far, and he's seeing a high turnout. As of Sunday night, more than 864,000 people had voted early. And tonight, we wanted to get his perspective on issue one, and he tells us he has concerns. The concern specifically about issue one is that it would legalize abortion all the way through the end of pregnancy. That's, I think, abhorrent to many people. Take away parental rights, uh, which is uh, deeply concerning as well. And, um, you know, again, what would, would put us at the fringe in the nation as it relates to abortion. A reminder that if you do want to vote, you've got until 730 tonight here in Ohio. Polls in Michigan close at 8. You can count on us to bring you the results of today's election live on air and online as those results start to stream in. If you haven't already, download our free news app. Once those results start to come in, we'll be sure to let you know. You can also text the word results to 419-248-1100 and we will send you a link to everything we know.